Matcha here. So this is the final video in my short series of videos discussing the writing and publishing process for each of my young adult fiction novels. In 2020 something kind of awesome for me happened. I received a universal credit disability premium and a monthly personal independence payment. This is because I suffer from panic attacks and chronic anxiety which can make going out to work a regular job really hard and I have had some jobs in the past in retail and stewarding but my panic attacks made it really hard to work. So getting this money meant that I could use it towards my writing business and that money has paid for Amazon ads, Facebook ads and book promotion with Itsy Bitsy Book Bits, Book Cave, Authors XP, Book Sweeps and a host of other author promotional sites. The pandemic meant that I finally had more time to experiment with the marketing side of my writing. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! And alongside this I was working on a novel, so in 2020, which is a young adult fantasy novel and I was really struggling to balance my time between writing and marketing. My therapist advised me to have a weekly schedule so rather than trying to do everything in one day, split things up across the week. So I would do writing one day and then admin stuff the next day and as follows. I reduced the prices of all my ebooks to 99p across categories and I downloaded Dave Chesson's publishing rocket program which is amazing for finding Amazon keywords, getting your books into multiple Amazon categories and helping out with making Amazon ads. I actually sold a ton of ebooks between this period. In April I sold 50 books on Amazon and two on Kobo and in May I sold 71 books on Amazon, two books on Barnes and Noble, one book on Apple Books and one on Google Play. So having my books discounted turned out to be really helpful. I did re-increase my prices later on in the year but I didn't see as consistent sales so I decreased them down again and left them at 99 pence until the beginning of 2021 when I re-increased them after starting to publish my romance series under Diana Vale. My romance novellas are all 99p and they're in Kindle Unlimited. Essentially 2020 was a time of trial and error for me as an author. I had all this money to use and invest into promo and I made a lot of mistakes. I spent way too much on Amazon ads and I didn't get much of a return but I was so excited to finally be selling some books that I didn't really care and I decided that making an initial loss wasn't too bad. A lot of the things that I learned in 2020 have actually been pretty helpful for me in 2021 as I've settled into a better marketing routine. I also want to talk about an amazing site called Story Origin which has been so helpful in growing my newsletter. I know that some independent authors use BookFunnel but I didn't want to over well myself by using too many things. Story Origin was free at my time of using it and as of now it's a paid subscription service but it is so worth it trust me. You can do newsletter swaps, you can do group promos and you can even offer one of your books for free as a reader magnet so offering something to people who will then subscribe to your newsletter list. Itsy Bitsy Book Bits, what a mouthful of a name, are also an amazing book promotion service. If you want to get reviews they do a spotlight of your book on social media and in their newsletter they even create trailers for your book as well as doing live chapter readings on their Facebook group and on YouTube. In terms of newsletters it took me a while to get into a good flow with my newsletters. I initially used MailChimp but now I switched to MailerLite and I did briefly dabble in Flowdesk which is also quite popular with authors but I do prefer MailerLite. I find their platform really easy to use. It has a really clear user interface and you can organize your subscriber list into different groups and have different automation go out to different people. I send out a newsletter once a month on my Zarina Matcha list and two to three times a month on my Diana Vale list. In my next videos I'm going to talk about writing and publishing my romance novellas and why I decided to start publishing contemporary romance and how that has been going for me. So until then please stay tuned. Ah!